Hey, what's up guys? Sean King here with Mr. Fitz Academy in this beautiful day in Evansville, Indiana. It's where we are right now. It's a Thursday. It's mid-morning. Before we get cranking on shooting some video for this no-dig system today, I want to slow down to speed up and talk about how we recommend you project coordinate your projects. This should be done prior to the crew showing up. So prior to us showing up today, this should have already been done. So the goal here is to send some team member out to the project prior to the installation team showing up hopefully after the locates are done so they can verify the best location for the fence. You would normally knock on the door and walk this over with the homeowner. You would normally walk around the whole job, have a planned meeting and time to discuss all the details, the height of the fence, the color of the fence, the style of the fence, location of the fence. All of that information needs to be included in this project coordinating walk around as well as come up with a new pool list. We make our team members fill out a form by hand on exactly the materials they think the project's gonna take and then compare that with what the computer would have generated. So, we verify that the address is the right place, talk to the homeowner about the style of fence. Yes, we're good there. So now we're gonna go ahead and start laying out the project. So the flags that we use represent the outside corners of our fence, that's for us. That makes the most sense. It's not the center of the hole, it's not the center of the post, it's the outside boundary of the fence. We know that they wanna come off this corner of the house and head straight back. So my first flag is gonna be here. I'm gonna start the fence there. That's where the first fence post goes. I come out to this property line here. They actually had the string line already up. I didn't put this in the ground here. So that string line is the property line. I wanna make sure that I'm 90 degrees to the house. I can do that by sighting down the side of the house find the edge of the house, go back my four or five inches right there. And so this is gonna be the outside corner of my post. So my aluminum post goes right here, right there. There's a gate here as well. It can either go in the center or off to the side. The overall dimension is 12 feet, which with aluminum fence guys, four foot tall means that we're gonna have two cut sections here. We're actually 10 foot, I disregard that. See, so we check. We're actually 10 foot six to the outside of this flag. 10 foot eight exactly. The gate opening is four foot exactly. Now we can gain some inches right here because I'm underneath the siding. I can come away from that house a couple of inches. What I'm trying to do is maybe get this to where I hit one section in the gate. So right now I'm at 10 six. The gate is four foot plus a two inch opening and the panel is six foot one. So that's gonna be what, 10 foot three? I know they don't have any small dogs, so we're gonna end up with about a three inch gap here between the house and the post. The pickets are three and a half inches apart, so I know that's gonna be acceptable. Center that one there. Six one is here. Perfecto. Four foot two. So there we go. Gate's on the flattest part. We've got a slope here. Flattest piece, the gate goes here. Section here. That works the best because walking straight through the gate, we're not going around the air conditioner. You can't see behind you, which is right in line with here if we had the gate dead in the center. One full section and a gate coming off the house. Now from here going back, it's supposed to be 48 feet. There's a sewer line in the back. Let's see how that works out. It's gonna be some hard digging, hard pounding. Woo! This is where they wanted it, where these flags are, which is at 48 foot exactly now. We're gonna gain six inches because these sections are six foot one. So technically, we'd be right here. 23 inches away from the marked cable line and the cable line deviates even further out. So we're gonna leave that right there, start and run these full sections all the way back to where they land here. So I'm just gonna move all this to the other side, get the sideline laid out. Now over here, I know we have 12 feet, two full sections, and that is still a little bit inside their yard, but rather than adding a one foot or six inch piece to this puzzle, they're just gonna keep it that distance inside the property. So same setback we have on the other side. It's not 12 foot, see this is where we lay it out. <laughs> not even close. There's our back property pin, which puts us at about nine foot nine. We're gonna need to string this to get exactly where it needs to go. So I'm gonna temporarily put this in the ground, find the edge of the house right there. Let's go see if I can find this front property pin. I don't have a tape measure to measure where the property line is. I do have a schematic or a drawing, but I also have a pin there and two more pins down there I can line myself up with and two pins this way. So I believe I can probably find this without a tape measure. 
a few moments later. I guess we're gonna get a tape measure now. Can't cheat. Just to prove to everybody, there is no dimension on the damn drawing for the side line. Haha, <laughs> supposed to be right there. What's the chances of life being that close and it's gonna be under the dirt right there? 124.78, 62.5. Let's see what happens. Ah! Would you look at that? So what's the lesson we learned here? Don't take shortcuts. If I just would've got the two tape measures out, they would've told me the pin is right there. But instead, I fertilized the ground for them so the grass would grow back right here nice and neatly. Okay, so now what we can do is pull our tape measure nice and straight from stake to stake, go that way, and go in two inches. So two inches in from the property line, now we can lay out the back line. I pulled that through this point to the property pin, two inches from the pin so that I know this line is exactly where my flag needs to go. So it's two inches inside from that pin, starting at my two inch mark inside up here. 48 foot six is what we did on either side. That's there, which is 24 inches off that communication line. I'm good with that. So from this corner to that corner, we have to put a gate in the back line. 61.5, that's a horrible number. I think what we'll do is put cut sections back here behind this barn and keep all these at six foot. So we'd be starting the gate here and then our gate would be four foot, so 34 foot six. Dang. What I propose we do is put a five foot gate in here. If we had a five foot gate, and I wouldn't even charge a homeowner extra, that, it'd save them a section of fence. As we got 30 foot five, four foot two. If we went with a five foot gate, that wouldn't help. That's an ugly number, isn't it? 27 feet is not divisible by six at all. So in this case, I would propose everything stays full section with they can see, and we'll split these last uh, three sections down here. So it'll go full sections to, so 40 foot five, 46 foot five, right here. Then this gets split into three sections. 15 foot, so three five footers. We'll make sure we note that on a project coordinating video so the team knows. We're gonna come around the yard here, full section, set the gate, two more full sections, and then equalize that in. So at that point, it's laid out. Now we need to do the project coordinating video, which starts at the street. Go ahead and start up there. All right, guys, last piece of the project coordinator piece is to do a walkthrough video. And that video is for your team so that they, before they show up, it should have all of the information on it that they need to know prior to showing up. So we use a 0.5 setting. We start the road, 0.5, zoom out. Camera goes in landscape. This is going to go on company cam. Uh, we want to, if we can, show the address of the house and show the front of the house. That way they have confirmation they're at the right house quickly when they arrive. They're like, oh, I see which one it is and they can park fast, okay? All right, so we go ahead and start that video, 0.5, and say, hey guys, we're here at Mrs. Jones' house. We got a four foot tall black aluminum fence, amethyst style. We have two gates and 22 sections. We're gonna start the fence on the back left corner of the house where the flag is marked right there. We're gonna have a full section and then a gate. That gate is gonna hinge off the corner post and swing out towards us. And then we're gonna go down the property line. The goal being to have the fence two inches inside the property line. The customer has a string line here currently that shows the property line. The pins are located. I found the two on the right side. So we have those for identifications and the flags are noted. So that's a six foot panel and a four foot gate. 48 foot down this line, two inches inside the property pin. Run full panels down this line. There's a communication line and a sewer line back here. We're going between both of them. So we'll be right between the sewer and the communication. The homeowner wants us here in this easement like it is and around the shed. Height off the ground, we're looking for an average of two inches off the ground. These last three sections right here are gonna be your cut five foot sections behind this barn. You're gonna come from that corner, run this direction, full sections, a gate, and then two more full sections, and then cut your remaining panels. This gate here is gonna swing off the left post and hinge and swing out. 
hinge on that side, latch on that side. Again, we're 24 inches away from the marked communication line back here. Shouldn't be no problem. Here's the one pin that we found right below the surface. We're gonna go from this flag two inches inside the property line to that next flag, 48 foot, same distance as the other side. It's actually 48 foot, six inches because we gain an inch per section. Once we get to here, we're gonna turn 90 back over to the house, end up the same location we did on the other side, just right behind that corner trim. This is about 10 foot here, so we have two equal sections back to the house on the return. All right, there you go, good luck. So that's it guys, two minutes and 45 seconds. And in that two minutes and 45 seconds, your crew could have potentially had just saved them in a half hour of headaches of investigation, trying to figure out all those answers. We've told them what type of fence, we've told them where it goes, we told them the height that needs to be off the ground, we told them which way the gates should be swinging, we've identified where the cut sections should be, we've given tolerances to the house, we've talked about communication lines and the sewer line that might be a problem, we identified where the property pins are and if they've been located. I mean, we really took the dumb out of it, right? So, project coordinating video is worth its weight in gold or worth its weight in megabytes. Thanks, guys.